welcome to this video on the cycle cortex processing engine. In this video, we're going to cover off the architecture of the new cortex processing engine. To appreciate the change that the cortex processing engine introduces to the cycle realm, consider this. Cycle cortex processing is to cycle processing what XConnect is to XDB. If you think back to versions of cycle before version 9 when XConnect was introduced, think back to when we only had XDB. XDB was focused on collecting things for the web. It was focused on collecting things for your Cycle website. XConnect changed that when it was introduced in Cycle 9 and opened it up to true omnichannel, so you could collect interaction data from any location and any channel, wherever it was occurring. Likewise, Cycle processing was there to back up XDB and to perform aggregation so we could report efficiently over the data that we had in XDB. But Cycle Processing was only really concerned with one thing, and that was aggregation of web data. Cycle Cortex Processing, however, is a much more general processing engine. You can run a variety of different jobs on it, and they're not necessarily purely focused on web. Just as the data in XConnect is now omnichannel and more general, so too are our needs in processing. And this is what the Cycle Cortex Processing Engine gives us. Let's take a look at the architecture of the current cycle processing role. Over on the left, we have interactions occurring, and this could be on the website itself or a mobile device or other channel. Those interactions are sent into the XConnect collection server. XConnect collection stores these in the XDB collection database and also records some data to the processing pools database for the processing role. The cycle XDB processing role reads the events that are being logged to the processing pools database and it pulls the data out of XConnect collection, does its aggregation and then populates the XTB reporting database. And then off the XTB reporting database is how we drive our reports. Now considering the cycle XTB processing role here, this is an XM instance so it's quite heavy, it includes all of the site core um, features. And it's only really designed to do one thing, and that is process interactions or aggregate interactions. Now, here we have the new Sitecore Cortex Processing Engine architecture. We can have a variety of different data sources. We can have XDB data, and out of the box we have that, contacts and interactions, but you can also create your own custom data sources. So, for example, you could be pulling data from an external service or even the Sitecore content tree. We can push data to a variety of different data sinks as well, such as the reporting database or a custom database. We can also integrate with external services, both for consuming data, sending data, or even processing data. And in the middle of all of that, we have the engine itself. Considering the Cortex processing engine, this now is a hybrid application. It's not a full XM instance as we've been used to. Being a hybrid application, it can run as a Windows service when deployed on-prem. It can also run as a console application when doing development work or demo. It also runs as an Azure web job when running in Azure. But above all, it's no longer only concerned with processing interactions for aggregation. It is now a general processing engine. Taking a look at the conceptual architecture. Inside the Cortex Processing Engine, we have a number of different task agents. A task agent can be thought of as a thread of execution, so we can have multiple things all processing at once. Each task agent has a task executor and a worker that tells it what to do and how to do it. We optionally also have a model, and the model here is a machine learning, an ML model. Okay, This is not a domain model such as XConnect model object. We can also have a data source depending on the kind of task that we're running. Inside the engine, we also have a storage layer. This allows tasks to share data between themselves, but it also allows us to share data outside of the engine. As you can see on the immediate right to the storage, we have storage web access. This allows external servers to pull and push data from the engine. One example we have here is Microsoft Machine Learning Server. 
So we have some additional utilities for Microsoft ML Server to allow it to easily pull and push data to the engine, the Cortex processing engine. Out of the box, we have integration with ML Server, but it's optional. You're not required to use ML Server if you'd prefer to use something else. The Cortex processing engine also uses the message bus, and this is the same message bus, bus which already exists inside XConnect. So this is used for sending messages around the different cycle roles. We have messages for reporting on task status and when it changes status from, for example, processing to completed. But we also use the message bus to communicate to the engine from outside the engine. For example, scheduling tasks from the XM server to run inside the engine. We can also integrate with any external service and a variety of different data syncs as well. Thanks so much for listening. Stay tuned for more episodes in our Sitecore Cortex series.